Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the compressor start device in a hot point refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a flat blade screwdriver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new compressor start device. The compressor start device is a combination of the start relay and the compressor overload protector. The relay assists the compressor to start by turning on and turning off the start winding, and the overload protects the compressor windings from overheating and drawing an excess of current. It's mounted on the compressor terminals on the side. If your fridge stops cooling and you can hear the compressor clicking every few minutes or less, check the compressor start device and replace it if needed. So we are here at the back of the fridge and uh, to get to the part, we need to remove this rear access panel. There's uh, several quarter inch screws. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. I'm gonna take them out and remove the panel. So this is the part we are going to replace, and it's mounted on the side of the compressor, and it's in held in place by this uh, spring, so retainer spring. I'm going to use these uh, pair of needle nose pliers. I'm going to grab that spring and uh, release it. And drop it down there to the side. And then I'm going to use this uh, flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to get in there. I'm going to pry this device off the terminals. Well, now I'm going to fish out this uh, compressor start device from inside. And next I'm going to remove the capacitor here, the run capacitor. It's just plugged in. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. I'm going to pry it off. Don't throw it away, we're going to use it. Put it aside. Now I'm going to unplug these two wires. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver to do that. Pry them out. Pry them out. And I'm going to help myself with these uh, beautiful uh, needle nose pliers. This is the old compressor start device next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. They look a little different, but trust me, this one will work perfect. So this uh, compressor start device is a little bit different, as I mentioned, from the old one. But uh, we're going to install it on, this is the back of it, and we have one, two, and three holes here. This is the for the compressor terminals, and we're going to install it this way, so that the base of the triangle would be on the top and the point at the bottom. Next, I'm going to install these uh, two wires. I'm going to connect them by pushing it on. That's right, that's okay, and that's uh, one, and this is the second one. The next move is to install this uh, round capacitor. So we've got this uh, two contacts that uh, goes into these two little uh, openings here. And uh, we are going to install this opening over this tower. So I'm going to do it kind of same time. And press it in. All right. And now we're going to install it. Remember, it goes in this way. All right, so I'm going to install this uh, start device on the 
compressor terminals and push it on. And if you notice, I uh, disregard that retainer spring because it won't fit on this new device. All right, now we're going to install the, the rear access panel. I'm going to use a quarter inch nut driver and we're going to place the screws in. Plug the fridge back in and make sure it's cooling. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.